I have a YouTube channel, so oh, I'm kind of in true. charge. Yeah, 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 I don't. That's not fun was... when you agree with oh, me. You're okay. supposed to. He's wrong. I'm right. But are you, are you just agreeing with me in that too? Because the. I'm just... Some of you think this is awkward. And, uh, but I needed to tell you, and I wanted you to be close so that you understood that Sportsman's Guide sells our Warpoet gun. And if you use code Warpoet, you can save money. I can see you. <laughs> All right, hey folks, welcome back. If you know anything about life, you probably already know about our War Poet pistol. This is by Shadow Systems. That's these guys. We're here. Hey, you are here. I, I showed up. This is Chad. He's the VP of sales for Shadow mm -hmm. Systems, and he's here to help walk through some of the upgrades. Our original War Poet pistol was built on the Shadow Systems MR918 frame. Since we've launched and, and sold quite a few of these, we've moved to the MR920. And this has some really solid key upgrades. Uh, main one for me is now your uh, footprint will take all kinds of different optics, mm -hmm. so you don't have to choose one optic for your slide. You can put almost anything on that. Game changer. No one else has figured out how to do that. Big, big deal. Another thing I really like, the recessed slide curtain right there, uh, or more accentuated, big deal. And then also the gas pedal. But you've got like a whole bunch of different things mm -hmm. you're going to walk us through. Yeah. Let's, you wanna talk about those three to start with? Yeah, for okay. sure. So let's talk first about the optics cut. So in the 918, which we have here, great gun, I still carry it, love that gun. It was only cut to accept the RMR footprint of optics. So Trigicon and Hollow Sun would work. Well, we have other folks that are running other optics, so we thought, hey, we need to expand the ability for people to to direct mount an optic to the slide without plates. That was a big thing we wanted. We don't like the plate system. We don't like the tolerance stacking and raising it up, having little tiny shims under there to, to get the optic mounted. So we knew we wanted to uh, change that. And that was one of the key features in the 920. So as you can see, this slide looks different than anybody else on the top. Right. Um, so we've redesigned the extractor depressor plunger assembly in there, which is what really everybody was working around in order to mount uh, optics to the slide. And we thought, let's, instead of working around the problem, let's solve the problem so that you can direct mount an optic and multiple optics, yeah. not just one, because you know we have some over in the sale kit with a Delta Point Pro or a Vortex Venom and True Glow oh. True Tech, uh, you know, Sig Romeo One Pro. It was a Vortex Viper. Vo sorry, sorry. The yes. Vortex Viper works with right. it. Vortex the... Venom claims to, but doesn't right. work with It's it. actually longer, same screw right. holes, right. but a longer actual footprint. And we found that with several optics. They claim the same footprint, but it's actually only the same screw hole pattern. So that has been something we've learned on this process, right? It's a, um, it's not what it appears in some cases. So. We, we did want that. Now we, you know, you run a hollow sun, I run a hollow sun. I really like their optics. Mm -hmm. And so it, those work, um, but more and more folks are running, you know, a multitude of optics. We right. all have our, our preference. So we wanted to be able to accommodate that. So that's the optic cut. That's a big deal, as you can see in there. Uh, multiple holes in there, depending on what uh, optic you're running. And then the nice thing too is you don't just get those tiny little screws with maybe one or two threads of engagement oh, that yeah. hold it on. These screws are coming almost all the way down to the rails. Wow. They're like three quarters of an inch long. And so they really hold that optic on there tight. They don't move. You don't get that left, right wandering uh, on, the, on the optic. So that was a big uh, improvement we wanted in the 920. That's awesome. Uh, just, you brought it up yep. already. Here's a quick list of stuff that this does work with. Uh, Vortex Viper, Trigicon RMR, SRO as well. Hollison 407, 507, 508, and 509 when you have the adapter for the 509. The others are direct thread. Loophole Delta Point Pro, True Glow True Tech, and Sig Romeo One Pro. There may be more, but there's at least that. We'll put that list down below, including instructions on where to go ahead and 
buy this stuff. If you're interested in a war poet, come on folks, it's really Get cool. It. And also, as I just did a little bit of a sales push, let me double down, even though he's here, I'm gonna pretend he's not here. Just go ahead and push out a frame. <laughs> Sorry, push out a frame here. If you got just a stock gun that you're happy with, keep it. You don't need to upgrade. It is the Indian and not the arrow. And that's what you need is probably a little bit of instruction, a stock gun, get out on the range with a big box of ammo and just practice, practice, practice. But as soon as you start playing the upgrade game, you're like, ah, let me get some different sights on there. Let, let me get a different trigger. Let me put a mag well on there. As soon as you start adding even two or three of those, you're already at the price of one of these. And you would have been way better off to go ahead and get the best right off the bat, including a ton of other upgrades that are baked mm -hmm. in the cake. It is you get far more for your money than what you could possibly do on your own because this is a production gun. This is not a custom Glock. This is a shadow systems gun that comes off the line like this and it's baller. But uh, you don't have to have it. But once you... Once you play with it, you'll be like, no, I have to have it. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> you, you have you're... to have it. <laughs> so you probably don't like me anymore. No, I mean, we're going to work on it, but you know. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So the very first thing, the direct mounts. So we covered that. That's a big Huge deal. Huge, huge deal. Huge. All right. What else? So the next thing that I know you mentioned was this curtain that we, we've we added around the slide release. I'm going to show the right. 918 as well. So much it's it's a lot less pronounced on yeah. there and we we've increased that up there so you john i know you said you were running into some issues where what was happening for you sure so i have a really high grip mm -hmm. and what will happen and this happens i found this happens all the time on gen 5 glocks okay because this the gen 5 slide stop release or slide stop lever sticks out more and when it does it pushes against this hand and while i'm shooting okay. it'll lock the slide to the rear like that Your even though there's no hand. yeah yeah because it, it it's doing that uh on gen 4s it doesn't do that but it, and so anyway it's happened a few times on the 918. And so by taking this curtain up more, that's gonna solve that problem for me. And I can, I mean, it, it, it is, it's obvious to me that this is a little bit of a rise right there. And then this is much more aggressive. That's gonna work. And this seems like it's a little bit more flush, which is what I want. You Correct. don't want the slide stop lever way out. Some people do, I disagree. I went down that route and found out Man, it's more important to have that consistent grip that doesn't lock it to the rear accidentally Perhaps. or send it forward right. inadvertently yeah. than hitting the slide stop lever. I don't have, anyway, some some people disagree. Fanta I don't care. Do whatever you want. I really don't care on that point. But to me, I like that. Yep. That was a that was a big one. And then the other thing I know you mentioned was, you know, the, the gas pedal. We call it the recoil control edge. And you can see coming as you're looking down on it or if you're looking at it, from this angle, this recoil control ledge on both sides. So whether you're a right-handed or left-handed shooter, you have the ability for your support side, um, you know, hand to get in there, and the thumb's the strongest, you know, finger in your in your hand, and to get in there and and get a good grip, and it places you get that thumb, support side thumb, push yeah. it into there, so you have really good uh, recoil management. The 918 had Not just much. an index, you know, texture pad there, which yeah. we want, right? Because that's a good tactile reference point for your fingers outside the trigger. But then now we wanted to increase it. So the ability for the uh, the support side hand to get in there and, re it, you know, manage recoil is important because we know, like, that makes faster shooters, the ability to manage that recoil. These guns already shoot very flat. We're trying to add to that, increase, improve the ability for these guns and the recoil management for new shooters, experienced shooters to have a, a better experience, shoot shoot faster, shoot flatter, more accurately. So that that that's an exciting addition that we added to that, and it doesn't uh, hinder any of the holster compatibility either by doing that. So that was a that was a big uh, big change on the frame there. Very good. So those that's three major things: mm -hmm. is the footprint, the slide stop curtain mm -hmm. uh and then the gas pedal or whatever goofy thing y'all y'all called it <laughs> which is wrong because right. only my way is right that's right yeah. so it's not the recoil control edge it's definitely not maybe uh i could back up and say a couple things that are unique to the the war poet that are different than like something like a glock or something 
Uh, the palm swells back here. So this is the same for the 920 and the 918, mm -hmm. but the palm swells right here, it's kind of like the M&P type way where you can pop this out and you can change this palm swell. So if you like the SIG grip angle or a 1911 or an M&P or you like a Glock, easy. All you have to do is change out this palm swell and you can pick your grip angle. So that's super duper cool. Uh, also, the flared magwell right there means that you don't have hang-up points for the reload. That's a really big deal, and it comes with a blacked-out rear serrated, uh, and then also a high-vis, tall front, skinny night sight, which is my ideal pack. No visual distraction, mm -hmm. and I need something real bright here. This is what I've, after all the years, this is what I like. And if I did have a tritium on the rear, it'd be a simple eye dot underneath, and right. I don't really care. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. like, I don't we didn't like the three dots yep. and all that. Uh -huh. It's it's confusing to the shooter. and Right, Yeah. and when I was starting out, I thought, no, I need glowing tritium. Right. I'm like, man, yeah. I, I, simple is better, especially with the rear side, mm -hmm. just like a blacked out rear. So anyway, all that just kind of comes with it, and it puts it a cup, a, cut above. You can't do that with a custom Glock. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, here's, I, I made a snazzy list. You made a snazzy list. So we went over, we went over that yeah. one and that and that. Why don't you pick something yep. else? So here. let's talk about the beaver tail. So you can see on this 918 here that it does have a bit of an extended beaver tail. However, the 920 has a much more pronounced beaver tail. Um, we wanted something, we were still getting some folks that were still get, managing to get slide bite on the 918s. And so we wanted to de, you know, design, extend that out a little bit. We also, as you can see, it kind of curves up just a little bit. Yeah. And then, um, and if you see on the back, we've taken off some of the material on the edges which is really nice because one, we, we understand this is gonna be concealed a lot for folks under right. a shirt, either appendix or whatever. We want that to not print on, you know, on, the, on the garment you're wearing. So extend that beaver tail up so it drives the hand high up onto the gun where it needs to be. Um, and then, you know, prevent the slide bite and then round it out so you're not gonna, you know, print on a shirt. So that's a couple changes that happened on, with the beaver tail on the, uh, the 920 that you didn't have previously on the 918. The other thing is, as you can see, I'll set these side down here again, is we took off the little bit of the nub on the front of the um, trigger guard on the 920. I like the nub. You did like the nub, I know. The nub uh, did cause some holster compatibility issues. Um, we, you know, we'd see guys buy the War Poet gun or, you know, buy it, a shadow systems pistol and then put it like in a nine dollar walmart holster and you know we don't think that's your best option there so but so we we changed that you still get the double undercut on the trigger guard but we just took away that nub um some folks like it because you know i know you kind of shoot way up you get that yeah, that I'm support side here. index finger way up around I don't uh, the need trigger that guard nub. it was just a neat little tactile yep. meaty whatever but I don't need that. Yeah. That's okay. I, I get it. Holster so those are those are the changes that happened on the frame. Um, the other thing you can see on the slide is we thinned out the front of the slide a little bit. You can see um, some index points up up at the front here, and then we thinned it out on the slide here. So a nice spot spot for you to as you're you know press checking or reload, especially if you have an optic on it. Reloading, you got a, a definitive ledge that you're coming into uh, when you're reloading or press checking on the on right. the 920 now. And then, honestly, reholstering with a little bit of the angle here makes it a little easier for your reholstering as well on the on the 920 now too. So, a little indeed. That's a not little be indeed. Little things. Little. You got to pay attention little. to just little things, it, right? Well, this is this is and it, it's like that conceals a little better. Well, maybe, but I, I do like it. Like it leans forward a little bit more, mm -hmm. like it's a shark or something. Uh, looks a little less boxy, yeah. a little sexier. Yeah, we, uh, we curved the back of the slide a little bit. So again, not trying to get rid of some of those flat, hard surfaces to snag on clothes or whatever when you're, if you're carrying. So not, yeah, not huge things, but nope. as long as you don't charge me more for it, I don't really care. Same price. Yeah, then Same then we're price. good to go. Uh, when you do the War Poet, you can either buy it sterile like this, and pricing I'll put down below as well, or you can get it with the optic already mm -hmm on installed on it and this is my pick best bang for your buck we could have chosen anyone we wanted to uh go with for optics and i'm telling you this as a good salesman because yay for capitalism guys
Uh, let's uh, drive on. Yeah, and so the optic now too, so now that we have the 920 version of the Warpoint, we actually have the new Holosun uh, 507V2 on there as well. That's so right. that is new uh, on the 920 as well. So we're excited about that addition. Um, Which the main part is the battery compartment is on yeah. the side. And what is, I thought there was some other... Uh, your buttons are bigger. Okay. Um, here's a, you, you know, okay, your, yeah, yeah. your your buttons on the uh, plus minus for, you know, controlling the, the light on. is a, are much bigger, much easier to, to access on the... On and the they didn't tip. write Holison so you could see it from space either. <laughs> so tacky. Look at how big that is. It was so <laughs> bright. Step one, I buy this and then I take a black magic marker and I do, I'm going to get a paint pen, a black paint pen, and I'm just going to, boom. I would have taken, sub, look, subdued. That's nice. That's not, anyway, these are awesome optics. That's a tiny little detail. They'll hate me for it and I don't care because I like what I like. Um, those are those are the big features that we've added to the to the 920 over the 918. I think we've I think we've worked through those the the different grip angles. The, those are really nice because we've we've had a lot of folks, um, you know, a lot of companies do the back straps, right? Yeah. Palm swells, you call them back straps. Um, they they've typically just changed the overall circumference of the grip. Right, which They're, makes it harder because now you have more surface area to right. fill for shooting. Right, and it's really about you know how does that gun naturally point and present? Right. Because a guy or a gal who's been a 1911 shooter and comes over to the polymer world, they point and present the gun differently, and so we wanted to be able to mimic those those grip angles that that people are comfortable with, or if they're a SIG shooter, an MMP shooter, like make the gun work for you, the shooter, rather than having to relearn everything because you picked up a new gun, so. Sounds awesome. The uh, mag oh, yeah. button, this is like tacky serrated versus that. I don't think that's gonna move any mountains for me, but that looks like a little bit easier to hit. It stands up a It tiny stands bit up tall. just a tiny bit more. Um, we wanted something a little bit, you know, a little more aggressive texture on it and everything as well, so. Cool. Still has our angled serrations, directionally oriented. So, you know, we want these guns to work with you, the shooter, um, taking, the, taking the feedback that you wanted in a gun with the, the things we were doing in the 918 and the 920 series of pistols. Uh, we're really excited. The, nine, the, the War Poet gun is doing phenomenal in the market. <laughs> we good. love it. We're uh, gonna keep crushing it together. Yeah, even if you see it on back order, you can still buy it on mm -hmm. back order. Almost everyone, it sold out in like a day, oh. but people continue to buy it even when it's on back order. So even when you do that, if you're available to do that, this stream is stopped up, but it's still trickling out. Mm -hmm. So people have still been getting guns. Uh, sorry for the delay, but it's good value. Uh, so anyway, hey, Chad, thanks so much for thanks, John. helping Appreciate us out, it. man. It's I, fun I, stuff. I, it's like we're saying goodbye. We're about to go right, like, get some coffee or something. Right. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, toggle notifications, bell to all. And uh, yeah, train hard. And yeah, you wanna do my sign off? Train it. hard, train smart. Yeah, but you gotta say it with like, you know, like feeling. You get it? So, yeah. Like, train hard, train smart. It's <laughs> pretty good. It's pretty good. Like don't quit your day job, but oh, it was good. I'm probably not gonna start a YouTube channel. <laughs>